What's up everybody, it's Billy here again, and today I'm going to be covering just a quick little review uh, of the Beyond Swing Trading Analysis that we did. So in the stream on chat for multiple days uh, and posted across chat multiple times, there was a Beyond call out just for their buys. Uh, this wasn't a swing alert bot thing, this was just for my chat, my guys, and uh, we had our Harami here pop out, we almost had a double Harami pop out, then we had another day trade in between, uh, and then we had this day pop out. When this day closed up like this, we ended up getting into a swing trade. Okay, so next day, ended up going up. Um, I saw some people take profits for 11%, uh, but this was the only exit opportunity you had before just holding with us. Uh, I ended up saying that I'm just going to end up holding all my position, uh, mainly because this candle started above this, right? And we all know what my favorite tactic is when we do this. When I see that kind of stuff, I want to go see it, and I see it as a dark cloud cover potential. Okay, so I want to mark the open and the close and then I'm going to cheat and I'm going to mark my 50% mark of that Fibonacci and what I'm doing there is I'm grabbing the control point I'm grabbing the spot where buyers have control above sellers have control below pretty simple uh, so that day as you can see we closed very well above it didn't even try to go down with the further wick so no point in exiting beyond the other day and as you see with a bunch of good news and upgrades beyond end up, ends up gapping up and the trade is over 100 uh, 150% at our target why did we have that as our target there's a very good gap range here to the left side and any other levels you see here and I had to take some off just to make this a little more clear of a video were from the daily time frame and the weekly time frame sometimes I will back out and I will just mark my emerging candles if you'd like to learn about this please check out the technical analysis routine but um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this content uh, if you guys want to come back through and kind of go through why that was a trade hit me up you know if you want to join our chat link in the bio uh, but that was a pretty simple breakdown it wasn't really anything crazy the re original reason was seeing that it had sold off from earnings and then fell down and we know that 100s is a pretty good strong historical support as you can see from the bigger time frames here um, very good spot to catch so if it was going to catch there or keep falling so be it um, but we were ready for either side and as you could see good squeeze there ended up falling wedge out uh, we got our haramis there pushing up with good volume too. Um, a big thing there was volume. And then even today, this big spike in volume, that's amazing. So I don't expect it to push through tomorrow, uh, through that gap range. I expect it to kind of chill in between here and range trade, you know, give us a continuation of some sort, and then you'll probably see it push even higher. If it doesn't, just parabolically move higher. But um, we'll have to see that. But very good range, very good news from it. And a few other watches we have are our DE, which I'll cover in a different video currently called out right now we're looking for this to keep holding over these 358 70s 357s and 355s hold over those by end of day we'll be looking to swing this uh going into the next couple days but i tru truly believe this will be the next beyond type move uh, as you can see there's a good gap range before earnings earnings came out they had great numbers great guidance great future projection on their numbers they actually had to raise their numbers so looking really good on that so i think this is going to bounce and this yellow trend line you see below it i'll actually show you what that is it's a very very long trend line very cool stat a lot of people don't know about this stock is that it was actually one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve months and we're finally getting our first two red months in a row on john deere but as you can see it went an entire year uh right after the COVID dip straight it went straight up so this has been a very strong company and they continue to push out great strong numbers and great strong guidance so i will continue to long them uh, they are a very great company to have shares in uh, and then also for swing trading so if you guys enjoyed this video please drop me a like and i'll see you on the next one